Well, this is a quite controversial issue, you know. For many years, it has been suggested, according to the different national registries, that babies born after IVF or other assisted reproduction techniques may have a higher risk of having health issues. Uh, this, in the end, could be slightly true, but we don't know if this is because the, the problems that the patients, that the, that the parents already have, which is, seems the more likely theory. So the babies may have more issues because their parents are a selected group of people who have fertility issues. And this is, could be the, the main reasons for the problems. There are also co uh, the so-called epigenetic effects. These embryos are, are going to be created in an uh, environment which is not the standard one. And we don't know to which extent uh, this different environment may cause slight light, uh, light problems in, in the embryos that may increase the risk of having certain diseases. However, these kind of epigenetic uh, problems uh, have been related with very rare diseases. Uh, it's true that they can increase the risk of uh, some of them, but if the normal incidence of these diseases is one in uh, 3,000, the risk when you do IVF is going to be one in 2,000, so it's still very, very rare. Therefore, uh, we consider and just, um, and I can, of course, we can only, we can only uh, uh, confirm this according to our experience, and we must bear in mind that the oldest baby born after IVF now has 43 years. So, uh, according to this experience, there is a very uh, little evidence that doing IBF could increase the health problems of these babies.